WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, a very sunny but humid Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and right now we've got a sea of green as it pertains to the U.S. indices out there. Dow's up 205 points, a half percent, seven tenths for the S&P, 37 points there, eight tenths for the NASDAQ 100, 153, seven tenths for the Russell, 15 point move there. Semis are up 77 bucks, one and six tenths percent. Trannies are up just slightly, a 21 point move. That's a little over one tenth percent to the upside. Goldilocks up 20 bucks, nine tenths percent, two and three tenths for silver, 66 pennies to the upside. Lights be crude is off 68 cents. Natural gas is down a penny. 30 year treasuries up one point, printed out at 117.27. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini, upper left-hand side. What do we know about it? Well, today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says if this pattern is going to identify a top, it happens between today and tomorrow. If we take a look at spot volatilities, it is trading well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That is always a positive, not always, but it's generally speaking, a positive sign for the bulls or the buyers of the S&P 500. Well, want to watch that uh, want to watch that uh, parabolic SAR dot that's down at 12.53. So far, the low today is 12.71. Price takes that out. Well, we're likely to at least see a rally tomorrow, and maybe beyond that. If we take a look at the NQ, it's also going to form bar number nine today. It's got the A to B equals CD pattern, as does the ES, but we don't really need that pattern any longer. Of course, various reversal candles would confirm those tops out there. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it found support at the uh, center of its uh, weekly profile, and that's at the 104. 31 level. If that area fails, we're likely to see a move down to 103.49. Goldilocks is trading above the center of its daily and weekly profile out there. If it can close, I'd say if it can close above the high from a few days ago, that's the high from May 10th. That's at 23.85.30. That would increase the odds of move to 24.20. Uh, silver is up at the resistance zone, the top of its weekly profile, 29.51. If we take a look at light speed crude, it's testing us by the D point pattern. That was that hammer candle that formed back on May the 8th. The price closed below that, well, we have a larger A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. Natural gas is going to go ahead and complete its TD9 count top today. There's a new profile that is forming. It's got support at about 2.16. 216 to 224. And finally, the 30 year treasury. A close today above 117.22. Well, that's going to trigger an A to B equals CD pound to the upside. That price projection, 120.03. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. And we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. of